Rules? What rules? Today we're talking about an approach to interior design that can serve as the ultimate guideline for expressing your personal style. Hi everyone, it's Liz. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm, where we talk about interior design and ways to make the most of our homes to create happiness, health, and well-being. Having an eclectic style can mean different things to different people, but at its core, the concept is about filling your home with personality, your personality. The word eclectic is an adjective meaning to derive ideas, style, or taste from a broad and diverse range of sources. It's not necessarily maximalism, although we have seen it presented that way. Maximalism is about more is more, whereas an eclectic style is the careful curation and blending of different eras, styles, colors, textures, patterns, and finishes in a deliberate but a unique and unpredictable way. Although there are no particular rules, the principles of interior design like proportion, scale, balance, harmony, rhythm, unity, variety, and emphasis serve as guidelines so that the design doesn't devolve into total chaos and become a source of stress rather than the nurturing environment our homes are meant to be. Not cluttered or overcrowded with plenty of breathing room for furnishings to shine, eclectic style is fully intentional. It's about creating harmony between different styles, juxtaposing textures and contrasting colors to create a cohesive and beautiful space. The color palette you select will depend on the styles you're working with and the feeling you want to create for the space. Selecting a neutral or two to work with will provide a base on which to layer the rest of your color palette and will help tie everything together into a cohesive and harmonious composition. If every style you love is based on a neutral palette, then you're off to a great start and you can bring in elements of your chosen styles in the form of furniture, furnishings, and decor, expressing each style through forms, finishes, patterns, and textures. But if you love styles with bolder color, think about one or two core color families that will help anchor the space through larger pieces and provide accents that can be repeated throughout the space to help draw the eye around the room in a way that makes sense. If you're not sure where to start, take your color inspiration from a piece of artwork, a fabric, or a furniture piece. The color palette in this example couldn't be bolder or more varied, but it's clear the blue sofa is the anchor for the space, with the smaller red-orange pieces as accents. The area rug helps tie them together, and the gallery wall and other decor pieces help lead the gaze to take in the room as a whole. This is a pretty extreme example, but it really illustrates how valuable the principle of repetition is when trying to create balance and cohesion. A combination of finishes and textures adds to the visual interest of an eclectic space. Balance hard elements with soft fabrics and juxtapose smooth finishes and rough textures. Unexpected combinations of patterns also add visual punch to a space and really express your personal style. A good way to incorporate finishes, textures, and patterns is to keep your core color families in mind so that these elements coordinate with each other and the rest of your space. Mixing vintage, new, modern, and classic styles is a great way to bring together two or more eras. You can take advantage of architectural features already in your home and juxtapose them with more modern furnishings, or bring in an unexpected classic piece to lend added elegance to a modern space. These seemingly mismatched lines, shapes, and materials are tied together through your cohesive color palette, patterns, and textures. If you like to travel and collect treasures on your trips, having an eclectic sense of style will help you incorporate your finds. Global influences in particular have been popular recently, and these types of items can serve as inspiration for your eclectic interior. An eclectic room is the perfect place for a gallery wall, and it can make a great focal point. Here you can mix different frames and types of artwork and play with color, dimension, and style to reflect your personality and interests. Eclectic interiors are a great way to introduce the unexpected. This could be a quirky item or something that's a huge departure from the overall tone of the space. It's something that makes a bold statement. One or two of these items are plenty for each space so that they don't compete for attention or overwhelm the design. One thing that's important to keep in mind as you curate your space is to be intentional with everything you bring into it. 
Overloading a space with too many items makes it look cluttered and messy. When you allow breathing space for your special items, it allows them and your personal style to make a statement. Most of all, have fun. Explore, experiment, and use these tips and strategies as a guideline. In the end, it's your space, so use it to let your personality shine. For more interior design ideas, check out these videos. And if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.